All right, guys, for this video on this SolidWorks tutorial of how it's designed, we are going to walk you through the design of a ice cube tray, just a simple part. Let's go ahead and get started. But before that, I'm going to need you to check out the link in the description for a free SolidWorks basics guide for beginners. If you're just starting out, it'd be perfect for you. Um, join my Patreon for full exclusive access to all SOLIDWORKS content. With that said, let's get started with a tutorial. All right, so I'm going to start from scratch here. Let's go ahead and begin a sketch on the front plane. Of course, we're in inches. We're going to start by drawing a center rectangle 2D sketch place it in the center, give it some dimensions here. Just make it a square. One thing that you can do to just quickly make things equal, click that dimension, you're all set. All right, in the same sketch here, we're going to drag out a corner rectangle. Make it evenly spaced from the edges. Ah, always we need to get rid of this relation. It always auto snaps there. Hope your week is going well. Have yourself a beer, maybe some wine, and learn some solid works. Fun stuff. All right. Let's. For now. We'll just make it, I don't know. Uh, we could even go a little shorter. I'll be adjusted. All right, you're going to see in a minute here why we're doing this sketch first. Now we can extrude this one. We are going to pick just the square. There we go. Let's add a draft. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. And that's it, guys. That's the video. No, just kidding. All right. We are going to now shell this guy here. And now we should be able to linear pattern our way to success. We're going to turn on bodies for linear pattern, select the whole thing. First direction. That seems about evenly spaced. You want to maybe crunch numbers to get some equal spacing, but for demo purposes, this is fine. Five across in direction two now.
something like that for down since this side is longer. Let's see what that looks like. Not too bad. Now, let's go ahead and make another sketch here. I want to make that rectangle just slightly larger. Comment below what other SolidWorks tutorials you want to see, whether you're a beginner or intermediate. Let's go ahead and offset. And on this same sketch, sketch two, we expanded our square a little bit bigger on the same front plane as the first one. We're going to now convert entities of these outer edges of the individual rectangles here. You'll see why in a minute. If we can just pick actually these edges here. All right, we've got them selected now. Let's go extrude down. We'll select the highlighted except just go down an eighth of an inch. Make sure the preview looks good for the tray. Fills in the gaps in between the cubes. And we've got this nice outer tab to hold on to in your tray. Yep, looks good. We will go ahead and hit OK. Lastly, we can just touch it up a bit with some fillets if we would like to around the sharp corners and edges. Bump this up a little bit. And you have yourself a beautiful ice cube tray. Simple tutorial, could be cleaned up a bit, but we will save that for advanced videos. This is just the basic, more on the basic side of SolidWorks tutorials. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Subscribe to the channel, comment below what you want to see next. Join my Patreon for full exclusive SolidWorks access to part files, job postings, and full content, like I mentioned. Check out the link in the description for my free SOLIDWORKS guide. We'll see you on the next one.